Good morning everyone, how are you? Um, I thought I'd hop on quickly this morning and just give you a um, sneak peek of what I bought. Well, it's not a sneak peek, is it? Because I'm showing you. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you what I bought at the Sewing for Pleasure slash Creative Craft Show yesterday. Um, but before I do, I want to say thank you very, very much to um, Teresa and her channel is called The, Knitting, the Sewing Knitting Nurse. Um, she's on Instagram. She very kindly gifted me a ticket for the show yesterday. Um, my husband bought me this um, Do What You Love annual pass for Christmas. And um, I assumed that that covered all the sort of sewing and knitting and quilting shows. But it doesn't include the sewing for pleasure ones. So I didn't think I could go. But then Teresa... Um, gave me a ticket so I went which was lovely um, my usual sewing buddy Donna unfortunately wasn't able to come with me so um, I traveled alone and went in the car because the trains are a nightmare at the moment um, yeah got, got there about 11 ish I think and then had a little mooch about met up with lots of other fabulous people who I'll tell you about as I go through um, but yeah I'll show you what I bought so I, I I don't do that thing, you know, when you have a look round and then go, let's not buy on the first go round, let's go round and then go back to what we really like. I can't do that. If I see it, I have to get it because then I think, well, what if it's all gone? Uh, so, the first bit I got, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. So this is a Liberty print and I think this is actually from one of their most recent releases it's the one with all the sort of london landmarks on it so it's got the london eye tower bridge taxis big ben uh, the red phone box lots of other things on there and it comes in a few different colors i decided to get this really lovely sort of baby blue color and the the detail is all in white so i'm going to make another tosuti inners blouse with that I think a really nice springy feeling one I'm very happy with that this was from Doherty's I think that's how you pronounce it and they had a fabulous deal I'm not sure if this is their usual price show price but all of their Liberty um, quilting cottons were £10 a metre and they had a lot to choose from um, but when I spotted this one I thought well, I'm sure that's quite a recent one they had it in this blue colour they has it in um, a sort of creamy background with pastel-y colours and then a creamy background with more vibrant sort of pinky colours. And there might have been a green one as well. Green background with the white. But I went for that one. So I'm really happy with that. That's going to be a shirt, like I said. That was the only thing I bought from there at that point, but I did go back later. Um, I then had visit to Becky's sewing studio and I bought a couple of packs of her buttons so I shall show you those so there's some pink ones and some blue ones the blue ones in particular go really nicely with this Liberty fabric so they're going to be the buttons that I use on my shirt um, I hope this is in focus when I'm showing you but if it's not I'll put some still photos in afterwards so yeah, that was Becky's sewing studio and she's lovely. I had a nice chat with her. She's a really nice lady. Um, after that, where did I go next? I think I didn't buy anything for a little while after that. I went and watched the catwalk show and saw um, Sam from So Lex Sparkle with Sam. She was on the catwalk and so was um, the other Sam, Sequin Girly. And so was Jess from So What If I Sew. Um, and so was um, Romy. Um, I think she, I think her channel might be Romy Kate. But I'll link everybody's, um, everyone who's got YouTubes, uh, I'll link them all in the description below for you. So they all looked fabulous and did a brilliant job strutting their stuff on the catwalk. Um, we then went and had a coffee. Some of us had a bit of lunch. And then did a bit more shopping. And I was taken under the wing of a lovely lady called Liz. She's not on YouTube and she's not on Instagram, but she must be so well known because 
everywhere we went, every store we went to, she knew everybody. It was brilliant. It, it was almost like having your own personal guide to take you around the show. So we spent a really nice couple of hours shopping together and chatting. And we went to, we went to Roy's Material World and had a look at some of their linen viscose blend fabric. And they had some really nice designs, one of which I really liked and one of which she really liked. But we found it really interesting because the ones that we were both initially drawn to, we took photos of each other holding up their fabrics to see if they suited us. And actually, they, they were not great colours on us, but when we swapped them around, so when I looked at the one that she really liked and, and she looked at a, a one I had liked, they looked much better. So yeah, that was really strange. We didn't buy any, um, but then Liz had to go back off because she was back on the catwalk again doing the dressmaker's ball um, show. So I went off on my own for a little while and I went to Little Lex Fabric and they also had just a small selection of dressmaking fabric because most of their stuff is jersey. But I found some linen blend fabric on there. So I bought some of that because it was so cheap. I think this was... £4.40 for half a metre, which is bonkers really for a, a linen blend fabric. But it's this one. So it's this really nice sort of blue tie-dye fabric. And it's very summery, I feel. I think that's going to be a really lovely, sort of beachy, summery, cool, casual <laughs> dress. I'm probably getting a bit ahead of myself because it's still quite chilly here at the moment. But bought that and I bought enough of that to make the Melinda I think you say dress which is a Tusuti pattern which I also bought at the show yesterday it's funny because I saw this dress pattern a few years ago now and I think it was probably the first Tusuti pattern I'd ever seen and it drew me to their website I thought it was so lovely but then I got distracted by all the other patterns on their website and forgot about this one. Um, and I have made quite a few Tosuti patterns. They are one of my favourite um, designers. And they have... Oh, I forget the name of the stall now. It's this, the company that do the Lunar Lapin uh, bunnies. But they also do dressmaking fabric and patterns. And they had a version of this made up on the stall on display. And I was like, oh yes, now I remember. I really like that pattern. So I bought this and uh, Liz also bought a copy of this. And I'm going to use this beautiful um, linen blend fabric to make up my Melinda dress. So after that, I went back to Doty's. Had another little look in there. And I bought two more. <laughs> Liberty Quilting Cottons. So I bought this blue one, which has got little white flowers on. And I bought this, I think this might be Forget Me Not, this pattern, which is blue and yellow and little pink little flowers. And I bought these with intention, really, because the Friday night before the show, I had seen a new tutorial come out on YouTube. I think the lady's name is, or the channel's name is Sotak Handmade, but again, I will link that in the description below. And she does really nice tutorials, and um, they're really nice and calming and peaceful and nice to watch. And she shows you how to make bags, and pillowcases, little sort of zippy, zip up purses and wallets and that kind of stuff. And she's just released a new tutorial that shows you how to make some fabric baskets um, and they've got uh, like a webbing strap and I just thought oh, they look really pretty I could do with a couple of those maybe either on my sewing table or just around the house you know just to put bits and bobs in that, um, that end up all over the place so I'm going to make two oh I might even have enough to make more I bought a meter of each so I'm going to make at least two of these fabric caddies and one of these fabrics would be the outside of one would be the lining and then I might do it the other way around as well so it kind of mix and match sort of thing so a meter each of those again actually this one when um, when the guy from Doherty's 
was unraveling it, he said, um, oh, there's one metre 20 here. He said, oh, I don't suppose I can tempt you with the extra 20 centimetres for another two pounds. So I said, oh, well, go on then. <laughs> You're not going to say no to that, are you? So I've got a little bit more of that one. And then I was having a look round for some webbing that might go with it. And I found this. I don't know what the name of the store was that I got this from. And it was kind of, had lots of trimmings and all different kinds of stuff. But it's pretty plain. It's a sort of neutral kind of creamy colour with a tiny grey stripe running along each end. So I thought that would go quite nicely with those fabrics. And then I needed one more thing for these um, baskets, which was some iron-on fusible foam or wadding. So I managed to find this at Thimbles Fabrics and Crafts. It's one metre. I've never used this before. I think it was 7 99 so I don't know if that's a good price for it or not. But uh, I thought, well, while I'm there, I might as well get it, and then I've got all the bits ready to um, to get started. Oh, there was one other thing I bought actually, and I've already started using it. <laughs> Where have I put it? Oh, here it is. I wanted a new. It's not very exciting, but I wanted a new seam ripper because I've been using this. Um, lots of people probably got these purple prim ones, but I found that it's gone blunt really quickly. So I've maybe. We had it less than six months. Maybe that just means I do a lot of unpicking. I don't know. But um, I've had the standard, sort of those white ones that you get when you buy a new sewing machine. And I've had that prim one. So I thought I'll try something different that might stay sharp for a bit longer. And I found this clover one. Um, so it, and it was quite good. It feels quite, um, quite sharp. So hopefully that will... Um, Last me more than a few months, so I've got one of those. Um, yeah, that was all of my purchases. Um, oh, husband's calling me. Hold on. Right, he was just calling me to tell me he'd gone a different route on a dog walk. <laughs> so, they've gone for a walk. Anyway, um, yes, that's everything that I bought. And then when I got home last night, I started thinking about next weekend because that is the Stitch Festival which I'm also going to on Saturday and what am I going to wear? I mean it's not like I've got a wardrobe full of handmade clothes <laughs> so I thought oh, I know I'm sure Tosuti are going to be there so I might see if I can make up this dress actually quicker this week so I've already started it I started this morning and I'm using this let me see if I can show you Using this fabric, which is a viscose with a bit of a dobby in it, and this kind of abstracty scatter pattern. So I got this from the Knitting and Stitching Show at Harrogate um, last year from Lady McElroy. Um, it's very, very nice. But this pattern has got a lot of pleats in it. There are four pleats on the front and two pleats on the back. And this fabric is very shifty, so um, I have managed to get all the pleats in, but some of them might be a bit wonky. So if I see you, don't look too closely at my pleats, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm making that to wear on Saturday next week. Um, I didn't tell you what I'm wearing today, did I? This is the assembly line cuff. It's either the cuff dress or the cuff sleeve dress. Um, I'll pop a picture for the link because I think it's on my Instagram so I'll pop that picture up there for you um, but yeah that was it really short and sweet showing you what I bought um, thank you very much if you have got this far I really appreciate you watching give me a like give me a subscribe if you don't already and have a lovely week if you've been to the show show us what you got did you have a nice time who did you meet oh I didn't tell you who I met oh my gosh I met so many lovely people if I forget anyone's names, I'm really sorry. I'm just going to put it down to menopause, apparently. But um, I told you already that I saw Sam and Sam and um, Jess. They were all on the catwalk at Southern Green. And I made a new friend called Liz. I also met up with uh, Michelle, the menopause sewer. 
so we'd been talking a bit beforehand so we knew that each other was going to be there um, but we hadn't sort of planned to meet at any particular place or time or anything like that so we just thought it'd be really nice to bump into each other and after the catwalk show had finished I stood up and turned around and she was right behind me and I said Michelle and she said oh my gosh Ruth and she gave me the biggest hug it was so nice it was like seeing one of your friends or family that you haven't seen for ages and you know being so happy and giving each other a great big hug so thank you Michelle that was so lovely um, I can't wait to see you again on Saturday um, she's also going to the Stitch Festival as are loads of other sewers, sewing bloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers and all of you out there who don't do any of those things who just love sewing. So yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to stop waffling now because I want to go out before I get home from the walk. Otherwise I'll be stuck here listening to tales of what they saw and who they bumped into and I need to get to the supermarket. Right, anyway, thank you very much. Um, have a great week and I will see you all soon.